record. So I'm back at a boot fair at Worth. It's the first Worth boot fair of the year with me mum. I'm going to set myself a challenge of seeing if I can find stuff here that I would have found at Comic Con in the last video. So toys and comic type stuff, superhero stuff and stuff like that and see what the prices are here considering that the prices at the Comic Con were very expensive. So I'll just see if any of that sort of stuff's here and there's of course anything else that I actually fancy buying games or whatever but yeah let's see if I can video some toys and things. So it's late in the day on Margate, it's just a bank holiday, um, this place earlier, all along here, was full of bikes for Margate Meltdown, which is the bike event. Not really my thing, so I didn't come take pictures of it because I'm not really interested in all that sort of rocky type stuff, um, so I just come out for a quick stroll, get a bit of air later in the day when most of them have gone, but it's very windy. Um, there's still a few bikes and people around though, so... There is still some reggae music being played on the pier, which you can hear for miles because the wind's blowing in the right direction. So yes, later in the week I went to another boot fair, this was a lot further away, this one was up near Herne Bay, um, it's called the Whitstable Bends, it's an enormous boot fair, loads and loads of stuff. Um, I was just looking in general, just wanted to go see what it was like, but I did actually buy something, which is unusual for me, I know, because I don't normally find anything at boot fairs, or I don't have any luck anyway. This time I spent on a case got Tascam written on it and it's a nice little case actually for two quid but it's not the case that I bought I bought a pair of binoculars which for the money is a really good deal now so you're gonna say why do I need a pair of binoculars I don't really well I do and I don't I always used to have a pair of binoculars in the car going back years and years and years ago way way years ago I used to have a Fiesta and somebody broke into it in 2008 or something like that and stole my binoculars so I didn't have any, I haven't had any since then. Um, but the idea of them is having in your car, it's quite useful with a drone, especially as a drone pilot, to find out where certain things are, if it's worth filming or not. Because sometimes you'll see something over in the distance and you go, oh, that looks quite nice over there. And then you get the drone out and you're thinking, eh, I've flown all that way and there's nothing really that interesting there. But the idea with a pair of binoculars is I can park up somewhere and think, oh, is there anything over there worth looking at? Look at it and say, yeah, actually, it might be worth flying the drone over there and having a look. So these are 8x21s, which is normal for a pair of small binoculars, because they are so small. I mean, they're virtually, well, they are really, with that case, they're pocket size, you know, so a nice little thing to stick away. So these are going to be very, very useful. I do have a spotting scope, which I bought from a car show, um, which I was going to use for doing looking at boats and stuff like that. The spotting scope is a 20 times magnification by 50 lens so it's quite big quite useful but i don't use it i haven't hardly ever used it for anything at all in fact i've used a tripod more than anything else because the tripod's really handy for using for holding the ring lights and the other lights when i'm filming or when i'm doing say like the watch videos or other photography close-up photography i actually use this because it's a really really useful tripod and it folds up quite nice and neat so i take the spotting scope off and just use a tripod now this did cost more than two quid, but not much more. Again, I think the bloke had it up for 15 quid and I haggled him down to 12 by sort of having it in my hand and said, look, I've got it now, I'll give you 12 quid for it. And it was like, oh, okay. 
Um, it wasn't too keen to be honest with you, but I haven't used it enough, so was it worth the money? Who knows?